everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round six of the Sacramento Hyperspace Trial. This is one of our spots on the World Tour. Yes, if you don't know, Gold Squadron, we're on a World Tour. We've already been to, uh, we were in Indianapolis, Indiana. We were in Buenos Aires. Yes, that's South America in Argentina. Today, we're in South, Am or it's not South America. <laughs> we're in, no, it's not really Southern California. It's like mid-California, Sacramento here in California. Next week, we'll be in Poland. Next, the week after that, Australia. Oh, we're all over the place. My co-host for this round is? Sam Semino, a.k.a. Two Bracket 40. Oh, he revealed himself. <laughs> I was curious to know if you were going to say your, your screen name. The, the biggest fan of 25-point defenders. That's what, that's what X-Wing needs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever get 25 points defender, I'm just I'm just quitting. Like I'm done. Gold Squadron just goes away. I'm just like I'm packing it up, boys. Who wants all this stuff? I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think about these squads? Well, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's break them down. Um, all right, we got uh, Rick Ruddle on the the left here with Kylo, Supernatural, Primed Thrusters, and Proton Torpedoes, and then Quick Draw with Pattern Analyzer, Special Forces, Fire Control, and Afterburners. The fabled two ship build. That's right. So he has a 10-point build, uh, excuse me, 10-point bid, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then Isaac here on the right bringing a, a scum squad that's a really interesting makeup here. Uh, Fen Rao with just crack shot. Black Sun Assassin with crack shot. Another one of those. And then Captain, Captain Seavor with crack shot. Um, I think Isaac likes crack shot. Yeah, it, a little bit. <laughs> Both these players are <coughs> X and 1 going into this last round. This is essentially an elimination match. Essentially, yeah. I, I think there's some high MOV out there, so uh, you're going to want to secure it with this one, I think. That's right. You, or if you lose, you want to lose barely. I just want to let you know that the faction pie chart is okay. as complete as it's going to get. Okay, cool. There's only two players down and they've already dropped, so I'm not going to find them. No, right no worries. Thank I'll take a look at it here in a little bit. Um, I don't know about you, uh, Dion, but yes. I think this first order squad would benefit from some first order defenders. First, <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be the worst. <laughs> so um, five shields, all the linked actions. Yeah, every everything. every linked you action. Know. Just give them twenty six points. We'll go with one more than the untimed final yeah. with those with, yeah. with mirror match. <laughs> that sounds real fun. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, anybody who's watched the stream before, you know, this is usually where we do our stream poll. Unfortunately, the server for the site that we use is down. So we have no stream poll right now. But you can go ahead in the chat. Choose your champion anyway. Um, you know, one for Rick, two for Isaac. Now, um, Sam, if you were at home watching right now, who do you think you'd be voting for? <sighs> I want Rick. You know, I want that two-ship build. I want the, the bedazzled Kylo to, to, to take it home. The Bedazzle Kylo is quite fantastic. I, I am a fan. Now, Supernatural <coughs> Refreshes is a car that we saw really early in 2nd Edition because of how cheap it was. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't seen it too much. What does that do? Um, it allows you to spend a force before your uh, maneuver, before you execute it, to do a boost or a barrel roll. And uh, that's especially good on Kylo, especially with Prime Thrusters, who allows you to do those actions while stressed. And he can, you know, with his, uh, well, I think it's Auto Thrusters ability, he can do the uh, the booster barrel roll and do the other reposition after before he does his maneuver. So it's still really good. And 24 points when you uh, when you compare it to the i6 version is um, it's it's pretty cheap, I guess. <laughs> but mm -hmm. it, it's worth it. It's it's expensive because it's worth it. Absolutely, yeah. Just being able to adjust that much. That's similar to first edition where they had advanced sensors on mm -hmm. them, right? It's just like I'm gonna go wherever I want, essentially. Yep. It's yeah, a really you know. really good piece. I was doing uh, the Supernatural Anakin today with R2A6, and it's pretty similar, you know? <laughs> just do whatever you want afterwards. <laughs> 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 it didn't work out for me too well, uh, very well, obviously, because I'm here and not not there. Right, exactly. But, you, you know, it you was fun. <laughs> that's what mattered. You had a good time. All righty. Somebody's saying they're having video issues. Looks like if you're having video issues, I would suggest refreshing. Looks fine on our side for now, unless something uh, we're missing something. Now, um, as we get into the engagement, I want to remind you guys. Actually, you know what we, sh we need to do? I need to color code our Star Vipers. Let me not forget to do that. So one is one is number pink. Number pink. The the one and only. Except for that Kylo. And then this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Which one? We had Seavor at the top. I'm just going to go ahead and arrange this the way he has his cards. And uh, Fen on the bottom. Yes. Seavor, Sun, Sun, Fen. Yep. Green. <coughs> and pink. So 
So Sam, uh, tell the people a little bit about about you. B besides being Chewbacca and you know being a, a huge supporter of the Gold Squadron and liking X Wing, like who are you? Where where are you out of? Uh, I'm out of San, o San Jose, California. Um, I've lived there pretty much my whole life, and um, big hockey fan. Uh, I played hockey for a long time. I still do play in adult leagues, and you know play X Wing for fun. And uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Uh, that's cool, man. You know, you're, you're standard working man. <laughs> standard, <laughs> st standard working man. <laughs> I come standard with a suit and tie. <laughs> I got my X-Wing and hockey expansion. Yes. Available now. I saw those uh, St. Louis Blues uh, cards. Yeah. Whoever made those, I, I don't like that person that much because they beat my Sharks. But, oh, okay. you know. Cool card. I was about I to like offer the card. you one. Now I feel bad. No, I wouldn't. I, I couldn't do it. You couldn't do no. it? No. A, I don't play resistance, and B, mm, <laughs> You no. just feel a little dirty on the <laughs> inside. I get it. I get it. So definitely sneak one into your stuff. All right. All right. Excellent. <laughs> so let's see. I want to go back and look at our, our unofficial voting. Looks oh, like. That's a lot of Isaac. That is a lot of Isaac. Do you think it's – so it's choose your champion, right? So yeah, is it mostly true. like that's a cool list, I want that to win? You, you think? know, uh, maybe. Uh, people like Star Vipers. They like doing weird barrel rolls. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Norby, YT1300. I, I don't know. You're going to have to ask D or Ryan. about. <laughs> I think they have a very – Very extensive discussion. Yeah, very extensive. Um, I think what it comes down to is – you know, whether you want to pay 13 points or nine. Right. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So you should definitely compare those directly um, all the time. And yeah, looking at the points, a couple of people saying, man, Kylo compared to Quick Draw. Yes. Kylo is 122 points of thick, followed by Quick Draw sitting at little, little over half of that, <laughs> 68 <laughs> points. Essentially, I think the, the strategy here, if we're talking about trading, Rick would like to trade – um, quick draw for Fen. Rick would like to trade 69 points for quick draw. Right. Just in gen it doesn't matter. I don't think who it is because I don't. I'm not sure. Even with Fen at six, I guess Fen is ideal, but it's still tough to catch that Kylo. Yeah. And oh, it's still oh yeah. Tough to. You know, he can just put himself into places where where Fen won't be able to 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 get him into that range one bubble and and throw the five dice. Do you think we just have a straight joust here? Is that what's, is that what's happening? Honorable, straight. That seems. I mean, that just unlikely. looks like what that's. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems like what's gonna happen there. You know, one of them. I mean, Isaac, right? You, do you do the typical scum thing? Five forward boost. I guess we don't even know who's first player yet, so we'll we'll double uh, check. Oh, I guarantee you, Isaac is first player. <laughs> Isaac is first player. Oh, because Rick. Yeah, <laughs> duh. Sorry, that was a really stupid uh, question. It's okay. <clears throat> With a ten point don't bid, worry. it happens. Oh, just right onto that little uh, that little cloud there. No actions. Yeah. That's okay. You're just trying to hopefully catch something in your arc. You're fishing for Kylos. I don't know if that fishing for Kylo is a good idea with anybody but Fen. And even then, like I just said, you know, it's not it's not easy. All right, so he's going hard two here with a star viper. I think he's going all in on quick draw. Yeah. To try to take something I off the board. I think that's right. I think you wanna try and strip quick draw's shields and the the one go so he doesn't get used to that uh that bonus attack and um, you know, get get multiple attacks in multiple rounds because that's really where Quick Draw pays for that 68 points because he's not too hard to kill. No, once you get rid of those three shields, it's a lot less scary. Yeah. So that could be awesome if that happens in one round. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Ten round. I didn't even realize that. I should probably look at the screen. 69 points, exactly. <laughs> so it's, that's it's exactly. Okay. <laughs> See, you know what, though? But if you were at home and yeah, I was talking I about known. you, you were like, Dion, yeah. 69 <laughs> points. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Uh, when it's back here, it's not so <laughs> easy. <yeah. laughs> it's right there. You're right. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got a supernatural boost here from Kylo. I'm probably yeah, going to be doing uh, yeah. a barrel roll with the auto thrusters. Roll. Mm -hmm. That just would scream in two bank or two straight. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh sure. That's mm. fine. Yeah, either way. <laughs> <laughs> he has the cloud cover. He does. And no mods force. and the force. He's probably going <sighs> to, I think, maybe pick up a lock on Fen to try and throw one of those proton torpedoes, but that's a risky play. But. If I know Rick, what if what if Isaac 
called this, and he just he takes Fenn and just <laughs> sticks him right there. <laughs> that's uh, that's a bad time for Rick. I think that's <laughs> what that is. And mm -hmm. thinking about the action here. Focus or target lock. It is indeed sweet, Odd Doc. Odd Doc. He sounds like a newer player. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's so sweet. That's <laughs> yeah, super sweet when Kylo can do uh, anything yeah, he wants. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, gay. <laughs> um, so when in first edition, right, in the first edition, he could do all the same stuff, but he was moving last <laughs> after everything. And it was the most abusive thing, and I flew it so much. <laughs> it was great. So Rick yeah, did it is super fun to fly though. Yeah, just being it able is. to have it's, all that movement. Fun, it is really you know? fun. <laughs> Rick did un end up taking that their target lock on Fen. Um but it looks like Fen is gonna gonna dodge that arc. He's just focusing, no boost <coughs> here. I have to imagine that he thinks he's out if yeah. uh if he did that. And five straight like as well. Be a this thing can really move. It it can. It couldn't in first edition mm -mm. before FFG didn't know what what it was. Yeah, I, I did ask questions recently about, like, did you guys know? They're like, no, no we didn't. We, they didn't. we knew they, nothing. I mean, look at the size of the, the, <laughs> right, the guy. The they didn't know anything yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> they had a picture. This is what you get. That's <laughs> yeah. it. It probably looked big. Yeah. Now I just like to use the um, new sculpt. I use the big one, and yeah. then the, the other one is now a target lock. Correct. Correct yeah. choice. It's the only, the only actual use for, it. use for it. Yeah, I bought a $25 <laughs> target, target lock. lock. All right. Looks like we have our first attack here. It's two hits. Going into uh, uh, it's quick draw probably into this front, front black black sun, which did nothing. And here's Kylo. Uh, that's not what you want if you're Rick. One hit. And Viper's like, got eh, it. No problem. Easy. And this is going to be a range one, I think, from the Black Sun. Yeah, we got the Kylo. green one coming in. Kylo should be fine. Oh, yeah. Ask my Anakin that. Range three through a gas cloud, four blanks. Two hits, average, no problem. There we go. Gas cloud. Easy. Going on that? quick draw. Ah, the that angle's kind of funky. Looks questionable. Looks like he does. Ah. It's that top right corner. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh, just Judge bumped. question mark. Yeah. Judge. That's a great question, Felix. Um, so for those of you who aren't reading the chat, people are asking, Sam, why did he not use the uh, the dice app? I should have. It's <laughs> I don't really I, – I don't know. I don't have an answer you for it. You brought your iPad I, and everything? I brought, you had your yeah, Apple I brought pen? The, I brought the Chad <laughs> app. <laughs> I don't know. No overhead cam, right? Uh, no, not today. It's not an anymore thing. It's uh, something broke. Oh, and bummer. I. Unless I can – I need to find a mini HDMI to standard HDMI cable while I'm here in Sacramento. Otherwise, there's no – There's cord. no overhead – I'm sure you – I think that that can be done. Yeah. I still got to try to find one. But I look, we had the uh, the card cam in Buenos Aires. That was the overhead cam. Ah. Uh, and the, the cable that was, just That broke. was useful. Yeah, that was great cam. because we didn't – you know, we didn't have sides of tables, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, I actually know That's the that. reason why we had yeah. it. All right. What do we got here? Did they rule? Roll in the box. Anything outside the box doesn't count. All right. One, one. hit. So they ruled that it was in. And that's going to be a shield on quick draw. All right. She's going to get a retaliation shot. Unmodified, but, you know, two hits. Two hits. That's still pretty good. And, oh, that's going to go – oh, no, oh, that's uh, not focus. Kylo's focus. That's Black Suns. All right. So, no damage other than quick draw. All right, free shield on that. That's yeah. that's a that's good. good exchange for Isaac. Very good. Hmm. So, Seabor, thirsty for some jam down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, is his ability going to matter too much in this matchup? <sighs> 
It could against uh, against quick draw if you can manage uh, Kylo. I don't think there's any chance that it really makes much of a difference. Mm -hmm. um, whether it be Kylo's just not in his arc or, you know, is just using the force. Uh, I know Rick likes to take those target locks. So if he happens to, you know, th the most impact it'll have, I think, is if he's able to strip a target lock when Rick wants to fire a proton torpedo. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's tough. Right. Especially with the position he's in now. Because now he's got a five straight, kind of, or maybe three bank, probably three bank. There's no real boot he's still going to be out of the fight for probably another turn i think right absolutely i agree absolutely agree <coughs> sorry choked on the way uh into trying to stop there <laughs> so uh i want to take a second to talk about our faction breakdown we had uh we have most of the the list in and information there um in the chat i want you guys to guess which which faction was the most represented i know we can't do an official poll because the poll is breaking uh, but go ahead and break in. Wow, I'm tired. <laughs> Words are hard right now. <laughs> what faction do you think was the most represented? Who's number one? This is uh, honestly, I think it's surprising. Yeah, you think? I, I thought so too. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a different one. I am, I am surprised. Right, because all right. Well, I'm not going to comment on on the on the comments yet. Yeah, see, that's, that's what everybody what is saying. Yeah, that's. Uh, but no, I feel shocked. Star Wars faction, true. So uh, nobody's actually said it yet. So nobody. Oh no, one one person's got it, but he's cheating, I think. Oh, he's here, <coughs> isn't he? <coughs> or no, is that no? That's maybe that isn't Nathan. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is resistance. Most of the squads are resistant. We have thirteen resistance out of the sixty-four. There's the three bank on C. What you're talking about? Mm -hmm. CIS had uh, you know a decent, mostly like five CIS lists, and all of them are swarms. Yep. <laughs> Scum bringing five as well. We saw a couple of those uh, on on stream today. So, what do you think? Uh, resistance is, you know, what 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 are the lists? I I I don't really know what, but what do you think people are bringing that are that that they're starting to like? So there's there's a couple of different archetypes I'm seeing out there. There's X wing with the pods, yeah, which I seems saw to that be a one. really really popular one. Uh, being able to get four to five ships out there with uh, with a lot of modifiers mm -hmm. and just shenanigans, and um, Covenel. It's just a really popular one yeah. as well. Like she's she's a good chassis. Kova really is good, um, and so is Finn. You know he's pretty defensive. It's it's tough to break through those, if, especially if you have the double focus version. Yep. Norby YT thirteen hundred to Dion to get your cable. There's a Best Buy, one point four miles, but it opens at eleven. The problem is that we got to start at eleven. I can't be there at eleven because it starts at eleven. Might be able to get it after. Get, do they actually have a l legit? Check for me if there is a mini, mini HDMI to HDMI cord because that's the exact cable I need. I need that cable. Thank you, Norby. You've been volunteered as tribute. I appreciate your help. So, yeah, the X-Wing pods, I think that – or the X-Wing <coughs> with the pod, I think that's the probably the strongest resistance list right now, and, and mm -hmm. maybe it's just popular, so that that's why it's showing up here a lot, but – is Chewbacca? I saw one of those, but what what else do we think Resistance has that that people are liking? So the, I think the big thing is the T seventy X wing. Just that one extra. I've been saying it a bunch. The yeah, one the extra shield makes such a big difference, where you can take three damage and mm -hmm. not have given up half compared to a T sixty five. It's huge. It is definitely. It's actually a. Pretty healthy breakdown if you look at it. it n no, no faction really dominates significantly, and there's not really a sliver there. Um, Galactic Empire is in third. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's Resistance, Republic, Empire, and then Rebels, I think, right? Yep, six. Yep, you got it. Yeah. So pretty, pretty healthy there. So quick draw, barrel rolling here, trying to get some shots onto the Star Vipers. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see here. All right, all Fen, right, range two Kylo. on Kylo. Seems good. Yeah, you don't. There's no danger. 
All right, looks like Kylo's going to take a shield there. <coughs> so I think uh, I don't. We were probably talking, but I think Rick clipped that gas cloud there, and was not able to take an action. Um, with, just uh, barely with, with his two turn. Yeah. yeah. All right, this is quick draw, right? Going into the Star Viper. Yeah, looks like it. And that's two just hits. Two hits. Looks like that's going to take one. Uh, I think Norby just said that they had the, the cord that you were looking for. Excellent. I will be able to pick it up tomorrow. I saw a couple people saying, oh, just Amazon Prime it to the store tomorrow. We might be gone, like, because it's delivery till 9. Yeah. I don't want to pay for something and it not, yeah. you know, me not just be here. There's a Best Buy close. That's easy. Yeah. Yeah, there it is, right there. Damn. Right. Break the lock, baby. Breaking the lock. And that's going to do nothing. <laughs> All right. Green into quick draw. Let's see if we can strip another shield and get another un unmodified retaliation shot from quick draw. Isaac's playing Two pretty hits. well right now. Oh, natties, natties. baby. <laughs> Let's see him in the chat. <laughs> Just roll natties. Good strategy. <laughs> oh, it's a crack shot. So he did get a shield through. Okay. So uh, we're going to see another unmodified shot here. It was all, looks like it was towered or something. He's just going to redo it. Ooh. One hit. So, yeah, I, Quick Draw has not gotten use of that ability very much here. And yeah. Isaac has really taken advantage of uh, some good positioning from his Star Vipers to plank those shields. Absolutely. And that's those are the sneaky good ships in his, his yeah. build, right? You don't think, like, oh, Black Sun Assassins, <coughs> nah, no big deal. I can but get those yeah, off the board. Those but barrel rolls are sneaky. They, they put can, them in weird places, yeah. right? And they open up a whole new set of maneuvers that – that are is tough to to look at and tough to visualize. So now both those vipers are kind of in an exit velocity, right? They maybe. I mean, does he want to stress these star vipers? Is he willing to know. do a sloop here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because there's no. <sighs> yeah. I, I. This one's probably just gonna come around here and try and maybe you know too hard or boost in something like that, and then. I mean, I don't, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't sloop the green one, um, unless he thinks he can get, if, unless he's going to land on that rock there. Right. Um, that that opens up some good options to to keep the pressure on quick draw. Although quick draw in this scenario is likely just getting out of here, maybe a five straight or something like yeah, that. It's, to try it's and time leave. to exit the room. <laughs> um, I mean, he's he's down to one shield, his last ability shot, and he hasn't gotten a modified one off of it on it yet. Um, but he does have pattern analyzer, so he could he could sloop quick draw and and go for it all. So 50 minutes and change left here in the round. Uh, it's time time of the party. So one hard here from the okay. Pink Star Viper. I think he's going to use that uh, that barrel roll here. Has to. Start getting him around yep. towards the bottom of the board. Yeah, and see, this is what I'm talking about. I just would have never, with it, with a ship that can't do that, Yeah. I don't think that's that's ever a move that you do. <laughs> <laughs> Why sloop when you can, yeah, do, yeah. <laughs> you can do this? That's, uh, that's pretty good. Using that linked action mm -hmm. for the focus action. All right, what do you got? Three bank here. Th three bank and prey is essentially what he's uh, throwing down here. I think he is gonna bump into quick draw. Oh, that. Yeah, this might be a, a double marking situation because that looked like it could could clear both of his ships. Yeah, because it wasn't laying flat, right? right. It was up on an elevated angle, so that shortens <laughs> the template just a little bit. We talk about that in our quick tips on how to measure range. A lot of people don't know that, that it actually takes away distance as you raise it up. Science and math. Correct. Yeah. 
Oh, oh man. It's gonna. It sounds like they're saying no, so it's probably just gonna putt putt straight into into quick draw there, maybe on a little bit of an angle. Unless they think you, they can that that guy can fit. No, definitely not. Uh, it's not honestly not the worst spot. Kylo's no, not, not really in a spot to punish, and neither is Quick Draw. Maybe yeah. Quick Draw has a back arc shot, but that's not the end of the world. Unless Quick Draw can get the dream and get the shot onto the mining guild tie and the back. It could happen. It's possible. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Oh. Well, in the attempt to be perfect. Just put it anywhere. <laughs> it happens. All right, and there's a Seavor here. Yeah, not really many other options there. Just kind of being in the way. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Doing what Seavor does. <laughs> Refusing to die. <laughs> okay, I, oh my god! You, Every you time hate I, that Seavor. I hate Seavor <laughs> so much. Every time I play against Marcel with it, it just does not die. <laughs> Every time, like it's still a Tie Fighter, right? It could yeah. just decide to be a god. It it absolutely can. Just roll natties and it never <laughs> dies. <laughs> Some danger zone circling before coming in. Yeah, I kind of agree with Norby there. Um, you think Rick Rick got a little I too think, aggressive yeah, I right think away? Yeah, he got a little bit a little bit too aggressive. Um, I probably would have on that five straight round where he did the supernatural stuff in in this area and then ended up like that. Um, I think he. Uh, I was going to make it a duck. It looked oh. like a duck. <laughs> um, <laughs> he he kind of got himself into a little bit of trouble. All right, Supernatural. What's the call here? What do we got? So boost forward. Yeah. And probably going to follow it up with the Talon roll. I'm going to say lock onto Seavor. Um... Or I'm bad at this game, and that's not what he's doing at One all. One hard. We'll get him out of the arc. Though Fen, man, Fen's like right there. Yeah. He can barrel roll if he wants to, to get a little bit more to the outside. Or take the lock with his normal action. Now, is Seavor's ability, I, sorry, is it the, if you're in the bullseye? Um, if you're in the bullseye, it doesn't work. If you're in the bullseye, it does not work. Got mm -hmm. it. Uh, he could not boost there. That is, uh, an illegal that is boost. correct. Illegal boost. I'll be, I'll be right back. Illegal. Give him a point. Yeah. <laughs> He already that's, has that's two. Joke. He already has two tournament points or whatever they're called today. He does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For what? <laughs> he accidentally picked up somebody's dial and then he called himself on it. So uh, okay. honorable. <laughs> He's up to three. How many to get him, <laughs> get him DQ'd? Ah, that's a great question. I think we. Sh I think that should be our goal for the rest of this game is to try and get <laughs> try Rick. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will it into existence? Oh, seven. All right. So uh, he's a while away. Yeah. All right. So he's got to do a lot of messed up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the last round of the day, right? If you get DQ'd now, does it matter for later? Oh, somebody here in the in the chat saying that somebody at the German system open uh, got DQ'd. No way. Today, tournament pointed. Interested. <laughs> I would. I cannot wait to hear the outrage. S send me. Send me the <laughs> forum or Reddit link, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would like to I read know this. it's there. Where's the fly better post? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, so it looks like it was the sloop from Quick Draw. All right, staying um, aggressive, making sure that front yeah. arc is on. Got the pattern analyzer, so he's able to do uh, an action this time, and maybe. We'll be able to um, put some damage through. Man. Facing think, off with Fen. I think you've right got to go into Fen here. Yeah, that's a lock. To have a couple shots. Yeah, that's the right. I that's the right that's call. The right play. 
Um, I think you got to take this chance. You have Fen at range two. That's exactly where he does not want to be. So if you can trade, you know, that's that earlier discussion there. You can mm -hmm. trade quick draw for Fen. Then you're uh, in a good spot. You're in a good spot. I doubt anybody dies here. Or maybe quick draw, but. All right. So this is quick draw. Excuse me. This is Fen going into quick draw for two hits. And he's taking two right there. Shields are down, half points, and into the hole. And this is going to be a quick draw return fire bonus attack. Has a target lock, so fire control system will be live. All right. And FCS, here we go. Ooh, okay, hit crit. This could still be painful. All right. All right, takes a crit. Finn don't <clears throat> like those. Fuel leak. Fuel leak. So if he suffers another crit, he's going to take another damage automatically. And quick draw gets to shoot again All right. with her this normal time, attack. This time he will be able to spend the lock if freely, which I think he'll probably do. Yep. Exactly. Uh, two two hits. hits. Fen. Uh, he's going to take another take. one. That's half points. So no fuel leak trigger. Rick is ahead, though, 35 to 34, because <laughs> Fen is just a little more expensive. Uh, however, this Black Sun Ace is going to have a shot on quick draw. And there's a pretty good chance. So uh, about the thing in Germany, it mm -hmm. looks like a guy got DQ'd in the cut for the wrong list. <laughs> oh, that's significantly less dramatic than I thought it yeah. would be. How do you not catch that? <laughs> How does not a single person catch that? Hit, crit, hit, hit, yeah, crit. this is not going to be good. Console fire. Console fire sitting there on quick draw. It's not going to trigger until next turn. She'll have an opportunity to flip it if she wants. Uh-oh, Seavor, the TIE Fighter. Focus for two, going into quick draw. Damn, and that she's is going to do it for quick draw. So Isaac got exactly what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Traded, he got yep. quick draw out of there. Now he has. Mm -hmm. Didn't even trade. He just, he's in a very good position. Um, what do you think uh, Rick needs to do here with Kylo? Do you think he needs to to switch his focus, maybe try and get Seavor? Um, or maybe half on, looks like the green black, sw black sun. Still don't think that's So I guess be. it looks like it's even less dramatic than we thought, Sam. Uh, it looks like he forgot to put S foils and on his squad sheet. And they DQ'd him. Come was it, on. Was it really a DQ for that, or did Come he have? On, or did people. he have? Did he have other points? He might have had other points. Maybe that added points. I don't know. Come on, people. Obviously, he put the zero point upgrade on his X wings. Ag Snake, thank you so much for. Oh, just a match loss in the cut. Oh, so, so DQ'd. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he got into the cut. Uh. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't a DQ, it was a game loss, but when you're in the cut, yeah. that's <laughs> essentially what it is. All right. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to comment. Yeah. It's <laughs> one hard from Seavor, <laughs> barrel roll. Starting just to get into a position to start bullying Kylo. So, yeah, what do we think here? Kylo needs to get those what torpedoes Kylo, off. Yeah, what's Kylo got to do? Hit both those torpedoes, four hits. Well, he's – no, he has not fired one. Okay. He's got to do yeah. that. I think he. I think his only option still – he can't even do half points on these other ships. That's mm -mm. Is that enough? I don't think it is, right? No. No. So that means he has to kill Fen still. Yeah, he's got to either yeah take take the two Seavor, points on Fen. Yeah, Seavor is not in. Yep. Yeah, that'll be added thirty-one to his score. Mm. That'll get him to 
66. 66. Exactly right. Uh, okay, so here's here's a clear more clarification. Thank you guys for the uh, the the inform the news. So the rules say that you can fix the cards to match what you submitted, but instead the player fixed the list. Mm. So because he added the cards to his list is why. I guess if he would if he would have just played without the S foils, it would have been, been fine. But did he play with the S foils the whole tournament? I guess. Yeah. So like, what? Yeah, it's weird. It's just weird. <laughs> Let him play with the free upgrade that he very clearly took. I've only that I will say that I have I have streamed one game where somebody said I was like, "Oh, do you have S foils?" Like, "No, don't want them, don't need them." <laughs> I was like, "Hey, oh, okay." Sure. Okay. Too hard here for Fen. Probably just going to get a boost. All right, get into range one. Yep. Uh, yeah, that that's going to be range one. Ooh. That should be an arc as well. Yikes.gif. Has a lock from Kylo already on there. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, that's range oh one. We're trading some paint boy. now. Oh, boy. Rick is not happy about it, he says. Oh! All right. That's n far from ideal. No focuses. No target lock available. Oh, man. All right. Still gets one, though. Okay. I mean, that's probably the expected result, right? You were supposed to do some, <laughs> you're supposed to do some type of damage. Yeah. Um, and it looks like we're going to have a range one back. Are they not? So he does have him in an arc. He's just looking at his other options, a.k.a. getting other information yeah. on on what, what you have available for the next couple turns when it yep. comes to moving. Uh, has the lock. I think yeah. you're you, going to you spend, spend it on that. all of them, yep. Yeah, with one force, it's definitely a, a triple reroll scenario. All right, that's, All right, that's, 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 that's good. pretty decent. But, you know, Fen has to focus and the auto evade. So really going to have to uh, pray for it's some super serious blank out and He's then fine. easy. Fine. Spend the focus. Add it. Add it. Insult yeah. to injury. <laughs> 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 Rick saying, you guys can't hear it at home, mm -hmm. but Rick saying, Fen is not a great opponent for me. You're right. That is a, that is a tough, uh, tough matchup there. So everybody who's watching at home, uh, we will be live tomorrow with the top cut. Oh, we got some more shots. Sorry about that. Isaac coming in with the Star Vipers into Kylo. This is through the cloud. He's fine. Evaded. Easy. <clears throat> but you got to try, right? You never know. You, you very much never know. <laughs> so we're going to be live tomorrow. I believe we're starting again at 11 tomorrow. Um, we have top eight, so there's going to be three rounds. And then... I'm going to take a nap, essentially, and then head to the airport and head to Poland, <coughs> continuing the world tour. Uh, did you fly into Sacramento area? Or yeah. yeah. Yep, it came in on Friday. Makes it easier. Straight to Poland. Straight to Poland. Well, it's funny. I actually uh, have a layover in Chicago for, <laughs> like, an hour. Just <laughs> land and leave. <laughs> Home. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, my wife was asking, like, oh, is there a chance we can come see you? I'm like, no, there's... By the time, like, I would – me walking outside and coming back in, I'd, I'd miss the flight. Like, yeah. that's how close it is. Because I'm not flying on, like, the, the same airline. It's, like, connecting flights but mm -hmm. not on the same. So I have uh, to – So it's going to be a walk and yeah, – Yeah, I'm going to have to grab my bags, recheck them, all this stuff. It's – oof. All right, Sevor getting in a spot to do some jamming. I kind of want to see Isaac use the uh, the jam jar tokens. They I, are out there. I do too. I really do. But Kylo never has two tokens on him. Truth. <coughs> all right just starting to s basically point arcs be, all over the yeah. place right you just start spreading them out i would wonder if he barrel rolls maybe uh ship right yeah one of those guys exactly <coughs> hope he's just going to take the focus
coming in hot. He's got to cover all the places that Kylo yeah. can be because he can be everywhere with – Remember, with prime thrusters, he, sta yeah. he can still barrel roll and boost. Kylo him. could easily just not be in any of these arcs. Yeah. No problem, depending on what Rick did. Another barrel roll to the top of the board. <coughs> All right. Going to weigh his options here. Let's get him on the clock for slow play, try and get him some more. All right. Penalty points. Here we go. Uh, 30 seconds, 30 <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. That's one decision. He's doing supernatural. All right. So we reset the clock. Reset the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Barrel roll to the right as far back as possible. Maybe the middle. It all depends on what's on that dial. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is tough. This is a tough position for Rick. I don't really know. I, I'm trying to to think of his win conditions, and they're the, they're few and far between right, right now. He's one hit away yeah. from being a half point, and yeah. that that right there, I think, kind of flushes the game for him. Yeah. Five straight. Yeah, that's. He's gonna be range one. He can trade some paint with Seavor. Uh, looks like. He may be in Seavor's bullseye. It's close. Rick barrel rolled, right? Not boosted. Yeah. So he, this is legal. So we can't get him for this. <laughs> Unfortunate. He's bo boosting <laughs> at the uh, at the Viper there at the top of the screen. Yeah, I I liked the Viper's arc um, where it was. I kind of wish he did maybe a two bank and stayed there mm -hmm. to prevent this avenue for Rick to, to escape with Kylo. Right. Um, because now he had all his, you know, all, all of his, his arcs, arcs are pointed, are pointed in this direction, whereas before, you know, you had some overlap like that. And uh, Too hard. Probably a barrel roll here from Fenn to start heading towards Kylo. No, he's actually going to go ahead and repair Fuel League. That's smart. Yep. Avoid any drama from a crit sneaking <laughs> in there. Well, if he can take one of these, uh, get lucky here, maybe take this Black Sun out on a – no, that's not going to do it, though. <laughs> you tried. You were trying to build it up. Yeah. You know. Oh, wait. We oh. got a lot. Okay. Oh, look. All right. All right. So no. now all we need is all blanks. Right. Exactly. Spends a force. Rick rolling better, n not in the cup. The, the dice? Easy. Ooh, and Just roll Natty, <laughs> baby, takes one on green. Hey, that's uh, – no, they have five. Yep. Yeah, okay. So he needs to do one more. I think uh, Rick has discovered that my dice do not like being in a dice cup. No. They don't. They, they're not. They feel contained. Yes. And trapped. Mm-hmm. Claustrophobic in there. Correct. Okay. Not not too fond of the other dice. Correct. Like they exactly. they want to be as far away as possible. Absolutely. Got Hands it. only. <laughs> <laughs> Can Kylo focus, then boost, then barrel roll with primed thrusters? N no. He cannot do that, Wade. Are they asking why he ended up stressed? Uh, he did a five straight. He can boost with prime. So he did a barrel roll, five straight, focus boost. Yes. Did he have a focus? No, he locked. He must yeah. have locked Yeah, he, he locked lock boost, lock yes. Boost. We're yeah. fine. <laughs> 30 minutes left. Who is going to get into the cut here? And because we are using Tabletop TO, we'll know immediately what the cut is tomorrow. We'll let you know ASAP. Tabletop and TO, best. I love it. it is, it's my favorite. Like, um, Best Coast Pairings is cool. It has, has its place. but uh, The fact I, that it's an app is quote-unquote advantageous. Right. Um, but – Tabletop TO does a good job on the, the browser. They make it, mm -hmm. you know, not very clunky. A lot of browsers on mobile can be yes. not great, and it seems like they do a good one. Uh, never works. After you perform an action, you can perform a red booster barrel. Uh, it never works consistently. <laughs> oh, they're talking about uh, BCP. BCP. <laughs> I mean, I've, s I've, I've been at a lot of tournaments, guys. I've seen it used successfully <laughs> without any bugs. Uh, but I've also been at the tournaments where it's gone kaboom. Yeah. It's. Hey, 
I've never had table t- tabletop to yogo kaboon. I will say I will say that. That's a big that's a big advantage. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. I've seen every. I, I've seen uh, tome explode. Uh, I've even seen cryodex expo- explode. That's the least. The tabletop to yogo has has yet to fail me. All right. <clears throat> All right. We ready here? Focus. It was a link, I think. So he's going to supernatural barrel roll to the right and backwards. Doing it too hard here. Clearing that stress. Um, I see a barrel roll in Kylo's future. Uh, no, he just did a barrel roll, so he can't do that. I'm um, just going to focus. Yep. With no, with no force available or only one force available. It's I think it is no force. I think it is. It's tough to read with the, the pink... And the red. Yeah, it is no force because the, yeah, the, the ones the with the force have yeah, the have outside the border. border. Right. All right, three bank. Bear rolling back. I think he's just All trying right. to put Fenn in a spot where he can come back around. Because yeah. now, you know, he's a, what, a two hard or so. Do they have a three hard? They do, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably – no shooting this round, it looks like. Yeah, just a shot into the Star Viper oh, yeah, through that, the cloud. That pink one there. This is definitely going to hit. <laughs> no locks. This is going to be natural three dice at range two through a cloud. He's got a focus, though. Um, I don't think anybody's shooting him, so no reason not He's to gonna spend it. He's going to spin that yep. hit, hit, crit. This might actually get some and blood out of the Star Viper. And probably natties. Cloud. Easy. Yeah, let's uh, the gas clouds. Do we think these need a change? You know, um, the developers did tell me that they would be willing to change it if they started seeing a pattern of abuse. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's that is a, that's a paraphrase, but they said that. Um, because the way the rules are set up in the rules reference, they could very easily make the right, change. Yeah. So, sounded like they were willing. They didn't promise me anything. Seems like um, there's a pattern of abuse. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but when almost every list is taking them, and then the list that don't want them are taking the exact the debris to prevent right. You know all the shenanigans that the gas clouds can permit. Exactly. Maybe it's time to take a look at them. I'd like to see a. Look, I'd like to see them take a look at it for sure. Um, I think going through it, you should probably get a strain. That's what I. That was. That's what I. I strain or at first. now maybe even a depleted. Oh, there you go. Um, maybe you. Maybe why not both? That then nobody would take them, which would <laughs> probably be good. <laughs> no, people would still take them because you still rarely fly. I mean, y- you fly through them. Jedi love them because they just don't care. Yep. Um, you know, so it, people still probably would take them with getting both. Yep. Um, or maybe it's a, a one or the other. You know, you can choose choose yep. to get it depleted, but then, you know, you're just taking it depleted when you're running away, and it's exactly. still the same thing. So. But why not both is a good question. Yeah. I mean that'd be crazy, but let's say let's say it kept the auto thrusters ability. Yeah, but same if you thing, if you hit it, but you hit it, you get a strain or or both. I or, say both. Yeah. I say make make them both. That way. I mean, I think yeah, I think that that you know now that I think about it, that does kind of make it a little because you, you get that benefit, but if you mess it up, you, you're really you're really screwed. 
Yeah, what it doesn't give you is that, like, I'll just fly through them, no big deal. At least for most lists, right? Yeah, because, I mean, the chance of damage is is a big, big drawback. And then if you are now taking both a depleted and a strain... Man, that could be uh, that could be game changing, and, uh -huh. and at least at least there's some counterplay there. Yep, to absolutely. The clouds. For me, the best part of X-wing is the dial. Yeah. And when there are things in the game that say, "Ah, oh, the dial, whatever." Yeah. That that hurts my heart a little bit, and gas clouds can definitely be that. Yeah, and I mean anything with collision detector loves gas clouds. Of course. <laughs> you can just ignore it forever. <clears throat> what are what even are gas clouds? All right, one hard here from Kylo. Uh, I have a feeling that he is going to be in a world of pain here pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, Fenrau should be um, turning in here. Yeah. And if he did that three, I think he could get into range one if he with stays With the angle put boost, yes. With the angled boost. Um, this, is, this is a tough spot. Okay, he's focus. just going to focus up. Um, let's see what, let's see what Fen, yep, here comes the three hard. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, what? He did a five straight. He, he must have been thinking Kylo was Anticipating Kylo in there, maybe, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Kylo not going to get whacked by Fen. Rick is <laughs> probably smirking <laughs> yeah. right now, like, woo, baby. Hey, it's okay, you know, six rounds. Sometimes you think your opponent's going to go crazy. Okay, focus. here we go. That's a focus going into number green. That's right. Has three hole left. This. Oh, okay. Does he have a focus? He does. He's taking two, though. Taking He's down two. to one. That was close. Okay, Rick needs to score eight more points and not take another damage. Just, just got to take out that Viper. I mean, Kylo's doing what he what he's good at, right? He's uh, he's arc dodgy. He likes to use that supernatural reflex to be in kind of weird places. Um, man, this turn right here might have yeah, lost this, Isaac the game. I know that seems uh, I, that's a big aggressive, call. but if it ends up him hot losing, take. that's a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> if it ends up him losing, I think I would probably agree with you. But I I still think Rick really needs to take a shiv off the board here because you know one less arc to dodge oh, yeah. is big. Um, Isaac got a little bit uh, a little bit fortunate there on his roll. Uh, no, that's probably about that's right. That's about what yeah, you expect. Right. Yeah, two evades. And Kylo still has two torpedoes. So yeah, still has yet to use those bad boys. And that could be really bad if Fen gets caught mm. in one of those torpedoes. You know, not. Um, Rick reorganizing himself there. <laughs> I think, did he just remember? Oh, yeah, I have two torpedoes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at all his resources, shields down, two charges, two, sh two force left. Oh, is this just a three straight? Oh, three man. straight bank barrel roll. You know, that. Might be trying to go for some blocks. That Fen Rao move, you, you know, that is really tough because if rick can capitalize on this and take green off the board any hard turn um, kylo has a has a shot on that green you know pink is going to come in and he's going to have a shot fen i think could probably get there but it would require some boosting but this guy should see a barrel roll i would imagine no, a boost. See, this is tough because yeah. now Kylo, all Kylo's got to do is supernatural barrel roll over there and do a hard turn, and now all of a sudden there's no shots on him. There's a focus. Is he baiting him with green? Like, please, come yeah. get green so I can get that half I mean, points even, on Kylo. Even now, he could do the one hard with Kylo and barrel roll. Right. Um, and is this a K turn? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I think if I'm Rick here, I maybe want to do – I, I want to be aware of Fen, but, you know, the barrel roll might get me the ga glass, counter, glass cloud – oh, my God, whatever. That it's thing. fine. Yep, it's yeah, hard. This, it's hard to right talk here. sometimes. Yeah, that thing. Uh, the, the, the obstruction there. Um, from, from both Seavor and Fen, if Fen comes in. 
Let's see what he does. What you gonna do, Isaac? Yeah, and maybe this is a supernatural barrel roll lock up on that green one and blow it up. He's contemplating the supernatural here. He's All gonna right. do it. Oh, it looks like he was disengaging. Okay, 19 minutes left. Got it. They do have a really giant clock oh, okay. out there. So, so he, he did a he did a K turn. So he's gonna try. I think he was I think he was a pretty scared of Fen. Yeah. And you know I don't hate this move because it gets him out of the way of everything, and he could potentially come in and take that lock onto Fen, and uh, and have a proton torp shot at him. Yep. Important to note that he can attempt uh, barrels and boosts. Which looks like that didn't fit, and honestly, probably better. <laughs> <laughs> if if anything, though, uh, it gives him information that yeah. he he can't do that barrel roll yeah. next turn, so no failed supernatural exactly. next turn. So yeah, I think I think what Rick was thinking here was he was scared of nice. Congr he was scared of Fen coming in, and uh, and being able to to blow him up. All right. Uh, congratulations to Isofane getting that five and one, making the cut for tomorrow. Right away, Isofane. All right. Regens the force. No attacks this turn. Huh? All right, 17 minutes and change left in the round. I want to remind you guys that this round and all the rounds this weekend are brought to you by the Isofane Challenge. Every, <laughs> every dollar donated to the Gold Squadron podcast is going to be matched by Isofane. Thank you so much to him and his generosity and to everybody who has given. Uh, we have a bunch of different prizes we're giving away. This Today's the last round. Uh, this is the last round for today. We're also going to be doing it through tomorrow, but this is it. It's today and tomorrow. Um, your opportunity to double your gift. I sound like NPR. Double your gift now. <laughs> WTTW. But in all seriousness, it makes a it makes a huge difference, um, especially with the cost of traveling the world and stuff like that. It makes it possible to just do this kind of crazy stuff again. Yeah. All right, and two bang from the Viper. Just keeping pressure on yep. Kylo. Uh, they do not have any sort of hard turn blue, I don't believe, correct? So this will be right. a bank and then likely either a boost or probably the bank barrel roll Yeah, with the link focus. Yep. He might just One come of out those this guys, way. Exactly what he's doing. If you're going to get green, you're going to come through yeah. a couple of ships. Exactly. Yeah, I like it. That's exactly right. Let's see if Rick was able to read this one. Uh, does the silencer have a one bank? It does not. One hard. Just the one hard. I would love some water. Two bank from Seavor. Man, is Fen just going to gun it here? <laughs> uh, is Fen... I think if he does a straight, he might clip that gas cloud. No? Oh, yeah. He's definitely for sure. But there's no, there's no okay, way for well, him. Okay. Well, here comes Kylo coming in hot. So I like this move. Get him into a spot where Fen can't really... He get an unmodified shot yeah, on him right exactly. now. exactly. So right now, Pink has a shot on the back corner. He'd be forced to boost. Ooh. Currently in range one of Pink, range one of Seavor, and range two of the green Star Viper. <sighs> Honestly, I think at this point, Rick's got to take some risks. I think he, he may just need to take that bank boost yeah. and try and blow up green. Yeah. Um, or if he's at range two here, okay, no, he's going for Seavor. That's a lock and barrel roll with auto thrusters. Oh, is he hoping that he blocked Fen with whatever he did? I could, if, if Fen did something crazy like a three yeah. bank or something like that. I like that move. This is strong. Um because if he gets half points on Seavor, all of a sudden he's you know, he's, he's up. Yep. Uh, okay, he disengaged with Fen. Disengage. I was kind of hoping to see it too straight. Yeah. That would have been like, oh, the, the clincher there. 
Woo. Okay, so this is, you know, Dion, you said it. That's a target lock. <laughs> you said it earlier. That five straight could come back and bite him in the butt right yeah, here. Yeah, Fenn is just in a really weird spot. Yeah. He's in a weird spot. All right, four dice here. Boom. Do you spend oh, your yeah, he's two absolutely force? Spend yes, it. you do. Sp spend them both for four into Seavor here. Three dice. Easy. Na Natty's one hit. E Z. Rick is trying so hard. <laughs> E. There are the, there's the natties in the chat. Love it. Okay. Well, that was a bit heartbreaking for Rick, I think. Yeah, that he one, was hoping. That one hurts a little bit because going from ahead to not ahead with that natty roll there. Uh-huh. Like you were expecting at least two damage. Yeah, you're expecting two, you know. Thirteen minutes and change left in the round. Rick just threw that dial out there, dial in a dream. Uh, just just to note, these are actually um, uh, Vi Morati tokens or like informant, but they're just using them as target locks. Oh, very very <laughs> golf club. Yes, that was that's great. We, we can we can continue. All right, your turn. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we'll give we'll give him hair. Very good. All right, party time. <laughs> <laughs> Wholesome. That's absolutely only the best. One hard going the opposite way, trying to see if he can get a block here on Kylo. The Vipers would be able to maybe punish here. Oh, not even. Oh, Ooh. put it anywhere. <laughs> 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 Man. Oh god, just yeah, just anywhere. <laughs> it's, it's a long day. <laughs> F, F, F in the, the chat for the stayed. game state. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right. A hard one. And he'll be able to bank uh do the bank barrel roll here to try to get Archon. Man, yeah, Isaac really, really needs to get Fenn back in this fight as quickly as possible. I mean, he's the, he's the hammer. You know, That's what he's got. Depending on what this Star Viper here did, Rick can still. The biggest thing for me is I feel that Isaac's just being way too cagey with Fenn. Yeah. Fenn is I mean, he's the he's hammer. Being, yeah, he wants to be aggressive. Need, and especially at six when yeah. you're facing off against a five. All right. We're going to have the bank barrel roll here. Um, Pretty wide net there. Mm -hmm. Rick really needs to get a Proton Torp off. Yes. ASAP. There's a lock kind of hanging out. Yeah, that's uh, that should that's be right there. Seymour. Yeah. All right. So Rick contemplating his supernatural possibilities here. Decisions, decisions. We have no idea what's on the dial, so it's like it's hard to guess with all the options he has. Yeah. So we just we just wait. We know that barrel roll to the left probably doesn't fit. Uh, he's so got. He's doing a supernatural. It looks like he's got the boost template out, and to oh, the right. I wonder if this is going to be. Is it a T roll? If this is a T roll, that is a tough move. A T roll. Can't he stress? Oh, he is currently stressed. You're right. You're right. He Maybe just a hard. Too straight. Ask him. Yes. Yes. So the question was, 
once he's currently stressed with uh, with prime thrusters, can he also do auto thrusters off the initial uh, supernatural? The answer is yes. Barrel rolling. That's probably a question, if you don't know the answer, that you may want to do before you boost. That's <laughs> 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 ah, fine. It's fine. Okay, this was nice by Rick. A little too hard here, doing it off the side. Side to side for anybody who hasn't seen this. Just connecting the uh, the side hash marks and to avoid moving um, the Viper. And wow, great spot for Kylo. He's probably going to be able to take that green uh, black sun assassin out. Unmodified shot. So there's still there's still a pretty good chance that that green survives. Truth. Both fours are down. All right, we got the one hard. So Fen is going to finally have a shot here. However, no, he can't boost his focus. Uh, he can't get into range one. Can't get into range one, but he has the lock. So all he has to do is put one damage in to really secure this one, I think. There's the roll focus, I guess, right? Yeah. So all he needs is one on to Kylo. Yep. <coughs> all right, that's range two. Kylo has no mods. This is three on three. Fen has a focus. That's three hits. One away from half. Natties. Oh, oh one away. That's natties. half points. So close to Natties. Boom, half points. Isaac up to All 129. Right. This is gonna this is now an extreme uphill battle. Two hits expected there. We expected results. Let's see what we get out of this. And natties. Oh, natties. <laughs> natties. Natty Patty. Man. <laughs> Rick's quote uh, from the table, this is dumb. <laughs> this is officially dumb. <sighs> Looks like uh, Fen may have forgotten to use a crack shot there as well. Oh, snap. You're right. Was there a crit in there too? No, uh, that was that, no. that wouldn't make sense. Three regular hits. Uh, may, mm, it's Hold maybe. on, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll I'll draw it up. He definitely had <laughs> it. This <laughs> <laughs> is so we, we we could do we could do the uh, you know the vassal, the. Uh, No, I don't think so. No, maybe not. Though, of course, it's still it's also slightly sil tilted a little bit. So that was very effective. All right. Looks like uh, somebody in the chat was saying he had it, his hand on the crack shot, and then didn't do it. So it looks like he didn't forget, and he was indeed out of bullseye. Okay. Rick deserves this for his ludicrous. Silencer. <laughs> you want him to win just because <laughs> of the sparkly pink silencer. I mean, I approve of, of crazy paint jobs like that. But I don't know. He also has a gold one. <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> sparkly cool. gold. Fantastic. Does he ever file them together in a single list? Just because. I mean. I, I think he did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Blackout. And Kylo. Love it. Okay. So we're a few minutes away from uh, our giveaways here, 530, and fi figuring out who's going to make the cut here, either Rick or Isaac. <clears throat> maybe both, maybe, depending on MOB. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. All right. Yeah, because, you know, this is this is just an easy, no problem, two straight from Fen, boost right in. He's got the lock still. That's a focus. Yeah, that's that's five dice. Around. That's a dead Kylo here pretty quick. That's what I'm seeing. Well, I don't, like, they do keep we forgetting this lock right here. That is a lock. <laughs> it should be right there. Yep. He j Rick just said it out loud. Still have a target lock. 
He's going for it. Yikes. Though, see, here's the thing with all the moves that Isaac's been Isaac's been playing like super cagey. Is he gonna do the two straight here? Great question. That, I mean, actually, it looks like the two straight might bump. Reveal your dial, Rick. Oh, geez, just put it anywhere. <laughs> and did he not even notice that he massively bumped Kylo? <laughs> <laughs> it actually moved closer, so <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I am sensing death. Oh, that um, rip. Yeah, this is not good. And, and that, that is, is going to do it. <laughs> Congratulations, Isaac here. Rick mm -hmm. dealing out those cards. Kylo is gone. And the pink Kylo falls. I mean, my heart's a little broken. I, I really like that Kylo. Congratulations to Isaac. 260 victory there. Um, hey, you know, people say scum are bad. <laughs> That's some people. The do. chat says scum's bad. That's right. So let's let <laughs> star vipers. Good question mark. Mm -hmm. Maybe fly them in your next hyperspace trial. Let us know how you do. <laughs> Rick is throwing all the dice <laughs> in the box. <laughs> hey, that's actually pretty good results. <laughs> yeah, not, not not too terrible. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, half of them are hits. Yeah, easy. He's missing a few focuses in there, but not too bad. <laughs> that's right. That's what target, that's what target left for. Absolutely. All right, guys. So it is time for giveaways. Um, super excited. We had a g six great rounds here. Thank you, everybody, who joined us. want to remind you guys that today was brought to you by the Isofane Challenge, and so is tomorrow. So we didn't quite unlock that next level of uh, – of, uh, of prizes, but I got I got cards for you guys. No sweat. And um, you know what? I think – do you think maybe they want me to sweeten the pot tomorrow maybe a little bit? I think – You think so? I, I think I think the people need a sweeter pot. Okay. I can I can do this. I can I can I can rearrange some of the things on the screen here and, and maybe incentivize them to uh, – I like dreaming big. You like dreaming big. Yeah, but, you know, sweeter pots are also good. Okay. I'll, I'll work on it. <laughs>